understanding the capital improvement project process. Charlotte Stormwater Services is committed to providing excellent customer service while implementing lasting solutions to the problems caused by stormwater in our community. The primary method used to put these solutions in place is the Capital Improvement Project. Capital improvements are funded directly by the stormwater fees collected. Capital improvement projects to repair and or upgrade storm drainage infrastructure are based within a single watershed. Watersheds are defined by ridges in our landscapes, forcing water to flow down one side or the other and eventually into a stream. The Charlotte metro area lies within 33 watersheds. Potential capital improvement projects are identified when a concentration of citizen calls is observed regarding a specific problem area. The public is made aware of the potential project in their area and asked to fill out a questionnaire to help clarify the situation. Once a watershed-based project has been identified, staff is selected to assess the specific nature of the problem and document the current conditions, looking both at the entire watershed and the specific drainage basin where the project will occur. Because these projects are designed to fix problems affecting the public, citizens are given several opportunities at key points to meet with staff and engineers to discuss their specific problems as well as their opinions and expectations for project results. Mailers are used as the primary mode of communicating upcoming projects and meetings to citizens. Email notifications are also available for those interested in receiving communications electronically. The Capital Improvement Project, or CIP process, includes these six phases. Planning, design, permitting, easement acquisition, contractor bid, and construction. Planning. During the initial phase of a capital improvement project, Stormwater Services evaluates the problems in the watershed. This is generally accomplished by first field surveying the existing storm drainage infrastructure, pipe, channels, and so on. Once completed, a model of the existing system is created, and several rain events are simulated to determine if the existing system is sized appropriately. Once we identify problem areas, proposed improvements are evaluated for many factors, including potential impacts, cost benefit analysis, environmental needs, and permitting needs. These factors will help determine that the project will effectively solve the problems and comply with all regulations while maximizing cost effectiveness. The public is made aware of the potential project and asked to fill out a questionnaire. Their input is also solicited at a project-focused public meeting. A final planning report is drafted containing the recommended storm drainage infrastructure improvements. Design. The design phase may begin with additional field surveys to ensure an accurate and full assessment of current conditions. Once all of the survey data is gathered, the actual design begins, specifying the exact dimensions of the improvements, the size and length of the pipe or channel, the slopes it will follow, the location of all turns and connections. All the details are worked out. Then stormwater services will conduct a field walk with all the potentially affected utilities, such as Duke Power or Bell South, to determine where the design might interfere with their infrastructure or where special care may need to be given to avoid damage. Also during this phase, geotechnical investigations are conducted to determine what types of soils or rock are present in the project area. A public hearing occurs during this phase at the point when approximately 70% of the design has been completed, allowing consideration of further public input Permitting. Near the end of the design phase, the permitting phase is started. Regulations governing water resources require permits for any changes from the Army Corps of Engineers and North Carolina Division of Water Quality regarding streams and wetlands and the Department of Environmental and Natural Resources regarding erosion control. When project improvements cross or come close to state roads or rail lines, 
the North Carolina Department of Transportation or the railroad, respectively, must give their consent to the design and the nature of the encroachment on their property. These federal permits help maintain high standards for watershed protection measures and water quality improvements. They also ensure an equitable enforcement of these standards throughout the nation. Easement acquisition. Also occurring near the end of the design phase is the easement acquisition phase. This phase kicks off during the 70% design public meeting. In addition to the design improvements, the project's need for easements on private property is discussed. Following this meeting, easements within the project area will be acquired. Agents representing stormwater services will assist the property owners with the easement process. Bid. Once the design and permitting are completed and all easements have been acquired, the project will be put out to bid. Contractors will submit sealed bids, which will be opened and reviewed to make sure all required information is submitted. Stormwater Services will make a recommendation of the lowest responsible bid to City Council, who will vote to award the contract. Stormwater Services will conduct a pre-construction meeting with the contractor to discuss the final details of the project. Construction. Finally, the capital improvement project construction process will begin. Equipment and materials will be mobilized within the easement area. The infrastructure will be installed, and when construction is completed, the easement will be restored. Understanding the different phases in the CIP process will help you appreciate the role that stormwater services plays in providing solutions to protect your property, as well as sustaining the water resources for our city. Stormwater Services, managing our stormwater together.